What is going on guys, today we are looking at Team of the Season Illich. We managed to pack him on the first day right at the end and oh my god his price. For a 96 rated Team of the Season you are looking just over, I think it's around about 120 to 130k. It's just mental the, the prices of some of these, like even Chesney the other person we're going to be reviewing. He's coming in at like 70-ish k. It's mad this team of the season. You can definitely tell that there is no coins in the market. It is on the floor for team of the seasons. And Illich is is kind of one of the ones that I'm thinking he's going to be good in very, very clear gameplay. Whether you get much of that is the next question. But he's six foot three, four star, four star, left footed, medium, medium. In terms of stat wise, there's nothing wrong with him. Bar from his balance. His balance is 70, which I think for a striker with his sort of size, he would definitely need that little bit more. The only issue with him is, is a sniper would help him out. You could go necessarily for an engine that could work as well, but his passing is already pretty above par for a striker anyway. I just think this guy is going to be very blocky at times. He's going to be quite good and he's going to have a very nice finish from all accounts. Traits, finish, uh, finish shot, finesse shot, flare, long shot taker, and technical dribbler. In terms of other other stats he's got, he's got a good pace. I still think he's going to feel a little bit clunky on the run. Um, I don't think he's going to be blitzing past anyone. He's six foot three. Obviously, he's got more acceleration than he does sprint speed. Shooting wise, 93 finishing is decent. Would like it a little bit higher, um, but... I suppose you can't argue too much. You could easily whack a sniper on him and it would also get that everything pretty much to 99. Great strength. Aggression's on the lower side, but I'm not amazingly fussed about that. 92 composure, 99 dribbling and ball control, 95 reactions and 81 agility. The dribbling stat, it's everything is good rather than, uh, well, bar from the balance, which I think is just low and, that, and that's going to be the main, it's going to be the Achilles heel for him, I think. That's really going to, test how good he actually is his passing is phenomenal like every single stat is incredible long pass i'm really not too fussed about i think he's not going to make that many long passes it's going to be short it's going to be quick and that's how he's going to play you want to be feeding the ball into him into that shot rather than him the other way around and trying to run past everybody he's going to be that kind of set him up and he'll bang it that that's what i'm kind of aiming for him but anyway let's jump into him let's see what he's all about and see if we can get ourselves a few goals. Also, if you want to check Twitch, it is just here. Um, it is jthomas11. If you want to drop that a follow, we obviously do packs, foot champs. We try and do reviews, but it is a bit difficult at the moment. Um, but all of that jazz we try and do. So definitely go and check that out. And also, there's Twitter down below. Again, if you want to go and have a look at that, that will always be appreciated. And let's jump into the video. Illich. Oh, and he's hit the post. It's a solid ball through. Illich, oh, what a shot. Illich with a great pass. I'm finding that he's, he's actually a really good assister, if anything. Is he in? Illich's in. Little dink into Ronaldo. Oh, Daniel James, why have you stopped? Realistically, they, they don't let you stop because how easy that would be to always get a goal from that punch. Illich winning the ball back. He's, he is very, he's very hard to find because he's a very, very blocky player and he always finds himself out wing for some reason. Ah, both making mistakes as well. Illich. Ah, and again, the ball. And the ball. Illich. Illich. Oh, how he manages the strength. And I told you that that's what he's going to be. He's going to be that strength player in good gameplay. He's going to be fantastic because he's got everything. The main thing is in bad gameplay, he's going to feel so much more clunkier. He feels relatively good so far. You can tell the agility and balance is not there at all. But them sort of attacks coming up against big defenders, he's going to be able to hold them off. And he's going to be able to get shots like that. But it just depends on 99% of the time. Can he produce that? That is the real question. Illich. Can we get the strength into a Traore? Illich has uh, managed to get a kind of, I don't know, bother the defenders a little bit into making that mistake. It's then dropped to Traore literally minutes after they've scored again. Can't argue with it. It's just a battle of who can get the shot off first. And there we go. Illich has managed to kind of, I don't know, he won us the game technically, got the goal, then bothered enough just for Traore to tap it in pretty much. Um, 
good performance, I'd say. Managed one goal. We didn't really have much possession, to be honest. He had one shot, 17 out of 20 passes, 20, uh, 17 out of 23 dribbles. It's a good game. <clears throat> oh, Illich. Showcasing some skills here. And he keeps it. Love it. Absolutely love it from him. He's a big lad. I've just gave it away with someone who's a lot big, a lot smaller. But I absolutely love him. He's got a very big, big frame. And he's still managing to show what he can produce still. Illich. He's going to find Mkhitaryan. He's going to find Traore. Bring it back. Oh, no. He's going to get tackled. Into Illich, and it's an easy goal. Traore doing a little bit of a one-two. Illich with the goal. You can never argue with him. It's it's an easy goal to score. You go across the keeper. He's put himself in perfect position, and it's a left-footed strike. Second goal for the club. Two games on a trot. Illich going with a one-two with Mkhitaryan. Into Traore. One more into Illich. Turns and shoots. Shoots. Easy. There you go. Get in the bag. 2-0 for Illich. He's lovely. He's genuinely lovely when you feed the ball into him, like I said, to start with. He's that sort of striker that's going to be... He's not going to run past everybody. That's what you've got to get into your head with him. He's going to be a player that's going to be able to turn and shoot. That is what he does. He's got the four-star, four-star as well. So that's always an added bonus to him. Into Illich. One more to Traore. Oh, his passing, I must admit, is something that I'm really surprised with. Like, I know it was a very high-rated stat, but it's absolutely pinch perfect. It genuinely is a very, very nice stat that he possesses. Illich winning it back defensively. Very, very nice. Can Traore not skip past Varane? Oh, but he does get the ball back. Lovely. Illich into Goretzka, into Ronaldo. Little little around the world. Across again. And it's a hat-trick for Illich. Honestly, I, I know. I know I'm scoring a lot of goals across the net. But that's what you need him for. I need to skip the celebration. Um, it, That's what you want him for. He's always there. Literally the same goal as his first one. He's got a hat-trick. Regardless of how you do it, he's managed to do it. And he's managed to get a rage quit. That is what this, this striker is capable of in decent gameplay. A 10 out of 10 for him. Three goals. Uh, zero assists because obviously he scored all of them. Three shots, three on target. Beautiful. 10 out of 11 passes, 10 out of 11 dribbles. He's not a bad striker, really isn't. One out of two tackles. So going into the overall four, Illich or Illich or Illich. I, I bet I'm triggering so many people because it looks like Il Illicic, I'm guessing. But I've not been saying that the entire video and it's only just come to me to get it right now. Apologies. Four star, four star. Like I said, he managed to get what? Four goals in two matches, a hat trick in that final one. Honestly, he's fantastic. Like the, the shame with him is, is he's not meta. That That's always what it's going to come down to. He is not a meta striker. He is a fun striker. Believe it or not, we can try and have fun. I, I, I doubt it very much, but you can try and have fun in this game. And I think he's got the ability to still keep up with the defenders. His strength, his passing, his shooting is all absolutely phenomenal. The only thing that realistically he's not going to do is beat defenders on a one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to have to be that sort of person who's backing into the defender to his feet, take the turn, make him go the wrong way and get a shot off. That is what Ill Illicic will do. That is what he does great. And he did it in the in the second match on his second goal. Gets the ball to his feet. Gives it a turn. Straight down the line. Beautiful. It's absolutely sensational. His passing was sublime. One of the best passers as a striker I've ever played with. Like, he was absolutely cracked on his passing. Everything was absolutely perfect. And now I'm seeing what passing really can do at the top level. We're looking at some of the center mids and some of the cams. Obviously, they have the, the same sort of passing. I don't think I have De Bruyne here, but De Bruyne is, is a great example. His passing is absolutely perfect. And Ilicic is, is actually the same. He's absolutely cracked at it. Shooting-wise, can't go wrong. Managed to get, I think it was four out of five shots on target in the first match. I can't remember to exactly. It may have been less, but managed to get a goal and, and kind of an assist. And then three out of three in the second match and got three goals. That, for me, is a great conversion rate. 
I think he's going to be one of them ones that you'll pick up. Yes, he's not going to be your foot champs team. Serie A team, though, definitely give him a go. I think there is better strikers out there. But for a little bit of fun, a 96 rated player in your team, what, 800k, 130k? It's an absolute bargain for a 96. Realistically, if I get him untradeable, I'll be happy. I'll be very, very happy. We will sell this one because he is first owned, um, or not first owned, but tradable. And then we'll go ahead and try and pick ourselves an untradable up, as I can imagine he's going to be quite packed. Very, very much in the upgrade SBCs. But overall wise, I'm giving him a solid 8 out of 10. And that coming from a non-meta player is really good. I think if he wasn't amazing or wasn't actually any good, he'd be down at the 6s of the average. Realistically, this guy is not a meta player, like I said. But... He is a fun player. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you want to check Twitch out, I'm trying to find where it is. Check Twitch out, jthomas11. Come and join us. Come and uh, put a follow down. We always have a little bit of ban. So if you want to come and have a look and see what we do live, you can ask questions. You get that feedback one-on-one. -on -one, and I think that's the most important thing is getting my response there. And then you can kind of see how I'm feeling about that player. And, and it's just a nice Q&A kind of session. Play a bit of FIFA, foot champs. Obviously, we look at players, we look at everything. So definitely stop by, make the follow. Make sure you subscribe here as well for more player reviews. We will be trying to do pretty much all of them. Maybe not CR7 because we know what he's going to be like. And he's 5 mil, but everybody else we're looking to finish over the course of this week. So stay tuned there if you want to drop a follow. If you want to comment on who you want to see next, let me know down below as this is like the last one. And then I'll be doing some more in the morning so I can pick them up when obviously you've dropped this comment. Let me know down below. Make sure you like and subscribe, like I said, and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.